Uh, man, this is Frank and let me say, man, my videos are for entertainment purposes. Some of the information may be factual. Some of it may not be factual. Some of it is al sometimes allegations. So you always want to do your do your own research. Look, bro, when it comes to the Democratic Party and men, most men that are critical thinkers, they educated, they want to build something for themselves and something for their for and something for their families. You know, they got values, they God, they God fearing, they believe in traditional marriage, you know, they just some wholesome type people. Most of those type of men, man, they see through the Democratic Party bullshit. And to be honest with you, you got a lot of people, man, in the Democratic Party, they really not liberals, they conservative. They just play the game, you know, to get some type of political advantage and just to use people. But most educated men that believe in doing something for self, believe in building something for, for their family. Most of them are conservative. You see what I'm saying? But here's the thing, bro. It takes women, a lot of women, not all. It take a it take it take um women a little bit longer, man, to see through the Democratic Party bullshit. And let me say this, man, the video that I'm about to show you, right, in the comment section, and I know they had to probably be some black person. People that was speaking in this video, somebody called them, said that they was a Uncle Tom, a sellout. No, bro. If you in the Democratic Party, you really the sellout. You the one that really done sold your people out. You the sellout because you've been pushing, man, a platform, an ideology on black people that haven't, that haven't benefited black people for 50 to 60 years. So if it's anybody, man, the sold out, the sold black people out, I would say, man, it's got to be black people that are Democrats. Y'all selling y'all people out. You see what I'm saying? But check this out. you voted for. Barack. So in 2008 and 2012, you voted for. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. 2016. I voted for Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton. 2020. Donald Trump. Biden. And who will you vote for in 2024? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. My views on certain things have changed. Went through a lot of the experiences that young black men go through, good and bad. Ended up leaving that environment. Grew up. Almost the same story that he had. I had. I'm, I'm telling you, like, I grew up. People are Democrats until they grow up. Women take a little bit longer because they're, they're more emotional. As a man, men wake up to the Democrat bullcrap quicker because you grow up and you become a man. You're not a kid anymore. Things are not based on what other people are doing in your life. You start looking at them taxes. You start looking at policy. You're in a position where you're leading your family. And when you get to that particular situation, you say, well, wait a minute, none of this stuff makes sense. What have I been thinking? And women take a little bit longer because they're a little more empathetic. They're a little more compassionate. They're a little more emotional. So the Democrats try to play the heartstrings of women in their emotions. They talk about pro-choice and they talk about gays because we all know that women, they are the ones feeding that monster. Let's keep it 100. Gay dudes ain't hanging around straight dudes. They hang around number women and women don't mind calling them girl, child. They, they accept them. They friends with them. They think it's cool. They think it's cute. They don't think nothing weird about it. Men on the other hand, like, bro, what are you doing, bro? I can't even look at you the same. Another man climb up on top of you. That's crazy to me. So in 2008, Look, bro, I agree with everything he said, man, 100%. Thanks for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.